See, like, I already like the conversation happening in chat right now from the people that have seen it on whether or not it's actual shit or a kebab. That's what's so beautiful about it. While we compared it to that blue dress that went viral on Twitter a while ago, everyone sees something different, whether it's poop or a kebab. I'm literally shitting right now. How does that help in the investigation, man? Here's my theory. It's like Schrodinger's cat. It is both shit and a kebab until you take a bite of it and taste it. Only then will you know its true form. All right, I'm just going to let it ride. Fuck it. I need to know. Trust me, I... Wouldn't I'm in too deep. Back unless I had something important to talk about. And I have boy, to see it. I. This photo, this single disgusting photo of a kebab, has haunted my friend group, mm -hmm. my thoughts, my emotions for nearly two years. See, like you don't know if and it's poop video, or a I kebab. Mean, taking you on a journey. If we were offended, it reminded me of the blue dress photo that went. Yeah, I think the that's a great a comparison. The longer I stared at it, the more it would become something else. At first glance, it kind of looks like shit, but. When you really start staring at it, I've seen kebab that looks like that. This photo became a bit of a joke amongst my friends where we It is quite the interesting conundrum. Break out. Uh, so this is where I photo. stand on he it. Was retweeting something I else think it's probably bad kebab because there's no way someone took a shit that presentable into a box. There's just there's no way. That would be like the actual cleanest shit imaginable. And there's no way they were able to fish it out of a toilet because then everything underneath it would be all soggy and wet and it wouldn't be all together anymore. I, I don't, like that is a picturesque shit that looks like gag poop that you'd find at like Spencer's in 2005. So I really think it's probably a kebab that's just trash, like a really bad kebab. For us, Cray's DMs were open, so I DM'd him right away. <laughs> So at this point, we have Justin Wang's tweet on December 16th. God, this is so tweet thoroughly investigated. Day. Both of these were in December, but we knew we had to find something older. And that's when we found the nine gag post. The post was found the first ever sighting of the turd kebab on the internet. Turkish Kebab House, <laughs> a small, unassuming <laughs> kebab shop located in Blackpool, United Kingdom. The first internet post. Of How the did they do kebab, that? As far as we can tell, appears to be on a Google review under the photo section of said Turkish kebab house. We don't know the exact wow. date it was posted, but we do know it it's was like actual CSI shit. According to I don't nice think it's a pile of shit. Family friendly skate park after. Maybe you could justify him doing it if he uploaded it from a different account, but this was posted from the same account he reviewed a child's haircut from. It just it's just not adding up. The way I look at it there's It's just options. not a pile of shit. It just looks like it. 100% shit for some crazy reason. Or so for starters, it has Oh, that's a pretty good. 6. That's not good. No, I mean, that's higher than Burger King. And the shit kebab looks said, better than Burger King. This here is not some other thing. <laughs> She's going to show him the shit kebab to his face. That one is chicken and donut. Chicken and donut. And then um, that one as well. Yeah, that one is chicken under that as well, yeah. And then, what about that one? What's that one? Oh, it's not, not ours. Some, some people who doesn't like us, they, they put in a, It's normally a shit. They put <laughs> a shit, actually. Who, who hates us? Shit on put it on the Google, yeah. Oh my Wait, what, so it's actually poop? No, I've tried it, but... No. Not only did they know about the photo, but they believe it to be a fake review. They clippetizing. They definitely didn't look like the photo of the turd kebab. <laughs> what are you? What was so frustrating about this is now the only option is that Lee R took a shit on a pita and uploaded it as a review. I just don't I, think I guess so. There is a possible and get an expert's opinion. So I reached out to a gastroenterologist to get their opinion. On that it. is so I am Dr. smart. Carlson. I'm one of the gastroenterologists. Holy shit. Digestive disease associate. If it's a recent poop, probably. I'm going to show you <laughs> said image here. He's got like an easel for it. Here it is. <laughs> and uh, the, the grooves going through it. Do those look like something? That the thing like that throws like me off is that there's little chunks in it. Definitely could, it's, it's, a, it's possibly poop, yes. If you had to pick a side, what do you think it is? I think it's probably a kebab that looks like shit. <laughs> How with all the correct Yeah, I really think it's a kebab too. A gastroenterologist. I really do. This photo. I reached out to a kebab expert here in San Diego to try to get another opinion on it. 
Hi, my name is Mark Vesavis. Uh, uh, I'm the chef at the King of Kebab. It's a family business. Said that this was Who's he gonna business. interview next? Did Fucking Batman or something? Have you been around the shop your whole life? This is thorough. Yeah, so actually, my story, the background of what food is. He's gonna interview a pile of shit next. And things like that. <laughs> Do you know this guy? We're trying to identify. <laughs> I would. Uh, that is not kebab. Well. Oh okay. my god, it's even mis so messing up the expert. Is, this is definitely ground. Get, see what where it comes from. Because like I know the food from all the cultures. Mm -hmm. If this is some sort of kafta or like ground beef skewer, not cubed meat. I'm starting um, to believe it might be poop. They did a really bad job about it. This guy looks like he's fucking traumatized right now. This man's seen millions of kebabs, and yet this one right here is making him reconsider his faith in God. Maybe it actually is shit. I was fully on the side of it's just a kebab that happens to look like shit. But after seeing this guy's, like, fear, I really think it might be shit. Yeah, this guy's going through, like, like the whole five stages of denial right now. And, like, grief, all of it, it's coming out. I'm having a tough time kind of, like, figuring out these grooves. Because when you cook meat, if it's, especially if it's ground, those grooves... Yeah. It's well, not typical. No. Well, the, the thing is, though, like, it can be, right? Like, you can get those grooves on, like, a like a shitty sausage on a grill. Like, if you don't know how to grill something and you're, like, fucking grilling up a sausage or a hot dog, you can get those grooves. The grooves aren't what convinces me. What really convinces me is there's, like, little corn chunks or something that appear throughout that load. Like, the grooves aren't the smoking gun in my eyes more leads we did you we have to find lead to do and with that bonds to my original dm and not only does cray oh respond my to my original dm what a twist he's claiming that he is the one that took the photo here's where thing one where it came from yeah of course mate what's my cut i don't know what? if it was me being naive but at the time him asking me for money didn't really bother me i was so caught up in finally what getting a fucking an asshole I guess I didn't realize that him Bro, what kind of weirdos like, yeah, I'll tell you where the poop comes from. How much you paying me? What are you like what the fuck? What an actual scumbag. Leading with asking for money is a little odd. So I obliged that they had provided it. No idea why. I took the pick of it, but it was funny as fuck. Cray is claiming his friend. Nah, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. The Stevenage football arena. No they chance. took a photo of it and they uploaded it as a joke. So in order to get some more proof, I asked That's him a goddamn to send lie. me a photo, a screenshot of the photo in his camera roll when the photo was taken. June 2nd, 2020. This was the first problem. We have that photo dated on Google yeah, Review, that was a posted lie. by Lee R in March of 2020. So after the date discrepancy, very I decided thorough, to hit up so-called PETA shitter himself, <laughs> Trey's friend, Lewis. Or provide a post anything that predates march 2020 i'll pay you and your boy don't worry about it giving you loads of answers for nothing going to football now didn't think you'd be like this it's only a shit <laughs> it's only a shit <laughs> Lewis. it's only a fucking shit you're only a fucking shit you wanna be amateur football player you're never gonna fucking make it dude keep chasing true keep hoping for a sponsorship Lewis. It's just a turd. Shitting in pitas and shitting on More dreams. Than a turd! Guys, let me ask you something. Man, fuck if I Lewis. offered you five hundred dollars, which was my current offer, at that point I didn't really know what to do, and I'm being honest, there really wasn't anything we could do. Until Lee R As posted another review. Nowhere, Lee R yep. posts a new review yep. on Google. Yep, I, I fucking saw that coming. There he is. Lee R different time zone. On that phone call, we'd have to convince the shop of the documentary we're doing, explain what's <laughs> going on, and then convince them to use their business on Google Mystery to send meat. a message to this random guy for some dumb American YouTube <clears throat> channel. And that's exactly what they and did. Exactly what I mean, let's fucking go. I'm in his head right now. I feel like I'm investigating it now. It's, is it? <laughs> it would be about 1 p.m. 1 p.m. in the U.S. Let's fucking go. We we will find Lee R. Currently going through. It's gonna end up being one of Wubby's friends. Reviews on Google. We're calling up prestige. The man closest to Wubby. Sorry, I look so. Okay. He's getting so excited. I'm getting excited with him. Yeah, it was 100% a Google review. Yes. Oh my God, we're so close. 
Lee R is right around the corner. Okay, I appreciate it so much. In maybe? Maybe? <laughs> Lee R is gonna turn out to be DB was Cooper. That good? I feel like that was pretty good. Couple days here and, and, and give you hope, but unfortunately, as I oh, record what? this, Lee R has not responded in any way. Man, what to a the fucking review. piece of shit. God damn it. Who do you think that we'll get better results if I ask for your help? I, I was gonna say, that's definitely the play. Information that leads to. Us the arrest of Lee R. The source of this photo. I'm offering up a five thousand dollar bounty. Oh wow! Who Lee R is or what this photo is of? With we found an Instagram of someone we thought was Lee R. Uh, and I did How? message them. If you're wondering why this wasn't in the video till now, it's because they never replied, and we didn't think it was relevant. However, with the context now of the photo being removed, we have to look back at every single person we interacted with. And I'm starting to believe this Instagram account was actually Lee R's. That we, we are. They saw my messages and they went and deleted the photo. Motivation? I don't know why. Maybe they're scared. Maybe they think they're in trouble. <laughs> Does that mean it's poo? Does that mean it's meat? I don't. I don't know. The photo's gone. I cannot believe a couple days before posting. This Imagine photo. being the guy behind that account. They're like, oh my god, fuck! Someone finally saw that I shit in a pita. Oh my god, I'm going to jail. Jesus Christ. It's all over. He's fucking sweating. Staying up all night. Do I delete the photo? Oh my god. That's gonna make me look even more guilty in the eyes of the law. And then just drinking yourself into a stupor and then you just stumble to your keyboard and delete it. And now, now you've triggered all of Wubby's alarms and he's hot on your tail. So you fucked up. It's like Death Note, but if Light was like shitting at kebab restaurants, I guess. What a storyline. Moved. Hashtag turd kebab on Twitter. Any information you can get five thousand dollars. All right. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Real quick before the end. Nice. What an incredible story. What a fucking story. <clears throat> I after everything, after all the presented evidence, I am still firmly on the side that it is a kebab that looks like shit. I still don't think anyone could successfully take a shit like that ever. Under no circumstances. Or, or, it is a gag poop that they put there as like a way of sabotaging the restaurant. It is either a kebab that looks like feces or a gag poop that they used as like a scathing review of the restaurant. I think those are the only two options. I don't think someone took a real shit that looked like that. The gastroenterologist recently changed his stance on it via... The gastroenterologist recently changed his stance to it being poop via a Twitter post. Or they ate the kebab first and then shit it out. That's that's like a sci-fi plot line. That, that doesn't exist. That's impossible. It's like some two girls, one cup shit. Why would they delete it if it's not... Be well, th Alright, I'm going full detective. If that was legitimately the Instagram account of Lee R, and they were worried about getting in trouble, the reason they would delete it is because it would be like a, a, a like fraud. It'd be fraudulent, right? If they put like a gag poop on a pita in order to just leave a scathing review of a restaurant, they're lying and it's fraud. So they'd maybe be worried like, they're going to sue me, they're going to come after me or something like that. They're investigating this now and they're going to find out that I you know, slandered their, or committed libellious acts against their business here with this review and a fake picture of poop on a pita. Right? So there's plenty of reasons why they would remove that if it's not poop. Yeah, so it's still 60% on team shit side on the turd kebab. Which I guess makes sense. Most people seem to think it's shit. I initially did as well, but it just, I don't know. It seems really hard to have successfully shit on a pita that looks like that. Like, I, I don't know. They would have had to like shit onto like a like a pan on a stove and cooked it a little bit in order for the shit to look like that, I think. Wubby's poll was split 50-50. Yeah. It, this is tough. I mean, it really is. That was a lot deeper than I would have expected it to be. It like that had a lot of depth to it. There's really no telling for sure whether or not it's poop or kebab until we get in contact with Lee R. And maybe if we're lucky, Lee R epoxied it or something to keep it. And then we can just crack it open like a like an Egyptian tomb. Really need a study done on fake poops. That's one thing I feel like Wubby overlooked is the potential gag, gag poop. So he could have reached out to like a fake 
dog shit manufacturer or something and gotten their perspective for another interview. I think that's the only thing that he missed for people to interview. Because that would have been really helpful. He's like, oh yeah, I actually recognize that. I sell that. Could it be an edited pick? Another possibility, but I think it's a little less likely that it's edited. I think it's either gag poop or just a kebab that looks like shit. Thanks to Prime Punk and the Bitsbrook. Because again, that Lee R account was leaving legitimate reviews on businesses around the area. Like for his son's haircut and shit. So it feels like it'd be weird if he just randomly decided to Photoshop a shitty kebab. They also scanned it for photoshopping. I might have missed that in the video then. Okay, so there was no edits then. E even even better. But if it's actually kebab meat, kebab meat, would Lee admit it? Would Lee admit it was just a foul-looking kebab? No harm in an actual review photo. That's a good point. If it was just a really gross kebab, why would he delete it? That's also an interesting theory. I think what happened is after his agent Squiggles went in and showed the photo, the kebab shop contacted Google and got it removed. That's very possible. Because then at that point, the kebab shop is like, okay, this photo is clearly hurting business. We want it taken down. So they contacted Google to do it. I think that's very likely.